You know what? I'll tell you straight up. There was a time in WWE I got sent home for about four months early on in my career. Um, not for having a bad attitude, but just standing my ground. And now me and this guy, mega cool. Hey, he's in the top position, but that's why my ass got sent home. Uh, he's in the top position now. But uh, yeah, I just didn't like the way that he was like communicating with me. I didn't like the way he was like handling my ideas. I just basically I, uh, we were going to have it out and I got sent home. And in that time, dude, I was like, nobody communicated with me. Nobody. I felt like I was an exile. This is when Emma and Darren Young got fired. So I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll get fired too. And, and whatever. Let's see what happens. And uh, I was in a bad mental state, really mm -hmm. bad mental state. And because again, I made it to there and then I felt like I was getting sabotaged and then it wasn't what I wanted. And like, I just wanted more. I just really wanted more. And I just felt like I wasn't getting it. And then um, I started reading started reading a lot of like inspirational books. all these books back here that you read uh, that you see like i legit yeah. read them like i legit read them so the top three or the bottom three are all math books because that's what i used to teach um after after college but all the ones above there are all wrestling and inspirational books especially the top two and i remember um reading a book called relentless by tim grover yeah and i was like man this guy's inspirational then it was like give me another thing then i started reading like a stoic life like and i was like oh my god what is it and then just like my peace of mind started to get so good that like anything at work anything outside of you know this was so easy to deal with like i just i didn't care i was having fun like you said i was having fun and i was at a really good state of mind so i always recommend everybody and even right now when i do seminars i say yo if y'all want to be a pro wrestler y'all got to start reading 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 because i don't care who you are if you're a pro wrestler, you got some kind of mental illness. You'll go and you will develop that because of social media, all the stuff that comes with being a pro wrestler. It is very stressful and it's very taxing on your mind. And if you don't take care of your mind, just like your heart, right? Your heart's a muscle. Your mind is a muscle too. If you don't take care of that as well, you're going to start to deteriorate and you're going to hate this business. And yeah. I started hating it a little bit before, but then like once I started reading and finding myself and finding that peace, I was like, man, I love life. I love life too much to, to fill, you know, fill it up with hate. So 